y'all, it's Debbie, and here is a great warm-up that you can do before any kind of exercise. We're going to start with the upper body and work our way down to the lower body. And these are arm swings. You can start, oh, I don't know, 10 reps, 15 reps. As long as you get your, your heart rate up, just a hair, and you warm up the joints. Uh, we're working the shoulder joints right now, warming up the arms, the shoulders, the upper back, a little part of the chest. Make sure you breathe throughout the moves. <laughs> yeah. So you started with two arm swings. We went right to one arm swings. And now you're gonna take it to a butt kick. <clears throat> Pull back, stretching the muscles in the chest and the shoulders. <sighs> there you go. Now you can jump on this if you'd like, but you don't have to. This is a great little warm up. Things nice and easy. You are gonna get your heart rate up, just a hair. So get prepared for that. Okay, going into squats with the crunch. Squat. So you're gonna take your elbow to the opposite knee and blow out. There you go. I'm taking it really low, but you don't need to go worry about depth on these. It's just a warm up. Okay. Okay, let's go for two more. And one. Now you're gonna to go to an inchworm. An inchworm looks like this. You want to touch the floor if you can, walk it out. You can add a push-up in there if you want. <sighs> or take the push-up out. <clears throat> so the object of this one is you're warming up the upper body and stretching the hamstrings really good back here, along with your back. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do two more and I'm gonna do a push-up. You can add a push-up or not. It's up to you. One more. This is some good dynamic stretching. Now to get out of this, bend your knees, put your hands on your thighs, and roll it up nice and slow. Stack in the spine as you roll up. Okay, see, I got my heart rate up. Okay, so the next one is a quad stretch. Be free to you feel free to use the wall if you need to. Hold on to your partner's shoulder, whatever you need to to get this done. You're just gonna hold it for like 10 seconds. And it's a quad stretch. Now you can challenge yourself and let go and do hands free and raise up. Now here's the thing: I see a lot of people do this. There's no need to bend over and get cosmic with this particular move because this is a great one for anybody that sits at a desk all day and has tight hip flexors. So let me show you some tricks here. You hold onto the wall or your desk chair and you want to tilt your hip forward just like this. So your knees stay even. It's not up here or back here. It's even. Okay. And you're just going to hold it right there. So during the day, maybe get up out of your chair or your desk or, or wherever you're sitting, and then do these stretches. Like if you travel, it's good like when you stop to hold onto the side of the car and do these quad stretches. It would be great. It would make a big difference in the way you feel. Okay, there's your warm up. <laughs>